curl. I got dark circles for days, man. Woo! You start applying makeup before I do these videos. Wow. What's up guys? Welcome back to my witchy world witches. Today we are starting off the month with of course our first box unboxing and as usual sacred space crate always gets to me first um, but before we get into that what do you think of my lovely new background? <laughs> it's very spooky and witchy and things like that so and I also got some new lighting so if I'm if I'm squinting at you <laughs> that's why I still have it figured out like you can see in my glasses the reflection so I don't know if I'm gonna like do these videos half blind <laughs> or not let's try it why not right so before we get into the box I want to take a minute to remind you all to subscribe to my channel. There are a ton of lurkers out there that don't hit that subscribe button, but they watch the videos anyway. So stay a while, subscribe, be a part of the Karma Fam, and stick around. It's a fun place to be. So make sure you like this video and subscribe and comment anything any any advice you have any positivity you have show the love down below and that's it <laughs> so we have sacred space crate today usually gets to us first before any other box i've never had this is a uh, month number three of this it usually winds up being my favorite so Let's jump right into it. Gonna, the box always comes the same. I'm not sure if I'm gonna always hold the box up just with the, the setup that I got going on right now. I just rubbed my nose and now it's all red. Wow, this lighting really, really shows every little detail. <laughs> but the box always comes exactly the same way. Paperwork on top, calendars underneath, and then all the goodies are under that. So, I, it's kind of silly to show the same thing. All you ever see is just paper. So, looks like paperwork on top. Take that out. All right, so we have the theme as above, so below. Love it. I'm actually really excited for this theme. There are like, three pages three pages two two pieces of paper but this one's front and back of stuff on here so let's read the top that goes over the reason why they chose this theme so this phrase comes from the beginning of the emerald tablet and embraces the entire system of traditional and modern magic which is inscribed upon the tablet in cryptic wording by I'm gonna butcher this name Hermes Trismeg Trismegatus Trismegistus <laughs> um you'll see it when I scroll through I'm not I'm not very good with names at all so apolog I apologize for that the significance of this phrase is that it is believed to hold the key to all mysteries all systems of magic are claimed to function by this formula. That which is above is the same as which, as that which is below. Macrocosms is the same as microcosmos. Oh, sorry. Macrocos... Oh, ma maybe... I don't know if that's a misspell. I don't know. Let me just read it how it is. Macrocosms is the same as microcosmos. The universe is the same as God and God is the same as man. Man is the same as the cell and the cell is the same as the atom. The atom is the same as and so on ad, ad infinitum. 
<laughs> Lots of big words in that first little paragraph. Although this statement is controversial, controversial and has a slightly different meaning to some, it is very important to understand how it affects you and your spiritual practice. It means that everything is connected. We are all connected to the heavens and the earth because we are all one energy as most of us witches believe. We are all an individual energy that is all connected. If this wasn't true, then how would objects from space land on earth? How would reincarnation or afterlife even be possible? Regardless of how you believe that we are connected, the, important of, the importance of this statement is that we are all connected, which is how we can channel other energies in magic. When we are casting a spell, our skillful work ascends from earth to heaven and descends to earth again and receives the power of the superiors and of the inferiors. As a practicing earth witch, I tend to spend the majority of my time connecting with the energies of the earth. At times, I need to be reminded that in order to practice successfully, I need to stay connected to the universe as well. This box was curated with a lot of careful thought and planning in order to offer items that will help connect connect you with the universal energies. Wow, this is exciting. I'm so excited. I am always super, super excited about Sacred Space Crate boxes. She just, Melissa puts a lot of effort into these boxes and it really shows there's a lot of thought. As you can tell just by the introductory paragraph, she put a lot of thought and planning into this box. So I am really, really excited to see what's in it. So we're gonna put this aside. We won't go over that until the very end. And let's open her up, shall we? All right, so like I said, as always, the calendar of the month is always on top. This one is so cute. Look at this. My poor lights are creating a glare. So cute, little fireworks and stuff. Can you see that? The moon, oh, so pretty. Love it so much. There's just so much detail. And usually the artwork for everything that's in here, if there is artwork, it's all designed by at schmoozy, schmoozy, S-H-M-O-O-S-E-Y. You'll find that on Instagram, so at schmoozy. And then as always with the calendar, it's always, the, so the calendar is always like the course of the moon in the zodiac. So on the back, it always has the, try and so it doesn't glare, basically the explanation of everything that you can find on the front there. So I always keep these calendars on my fridge. I love getting them and uh, I, I just find that they're very valuable to kind of keep track of the moon and, and everything like that so you know which workings to do and when. All right, so we got some blue tissue paper today and some, some black little squigglies. Ooh, I like the black ones. I might, I might keep them for decoration. Okay, so let's just grab the first thing that's here. Ooh, there's a little, this was underneath the first thing I grabbed, Certificate of Authentic Authenticity. I don't even want to read it because I'm afraid it might have like a spoiler, but ooh! so the last time we got one of these, it's like a frame and it had like a plastic container that keeps like a stone in it. So I think it's a stone. It's nice and bubble wrap. So let's see what's what we got in here. <gasps> yes, it is. Ooh, okay. I don't know what it is. It looks like a silver color. Let me just show you. I'm trying to block the light out. <laughs> Can you guys see that? It's actually like, it's a very pretty stone. Ooh, interesting. So when I got the other one, the other piece was Moldavite, which is a very rare stone. So I'm wondering if yeah, so this is a certificate of authenticity for this stone. I guess it's super rare, so they wanted to make sure that you knew, like, hey, this isn't a fake. <laughs> so 
It says this certificate verifies the authenticity of this Campo del Cielo meteorite. It has been purchased from Argentina by Dancing Bear from a member of the International Meteorite Collectors Association. The IMCA adheres to the highest standards of meteorite identification and proper labeling practices. The membership maintains this high standard by monitoring each each other's activities for accuracy. So that's kind of nice, man. That's like, that's like super cool. Like everyone's like, oh, is it really that stone though? Oh, I don't know. Like, is it fake or is it real? So I love that we just got that to say like, no, this, this is accurate. You guys, <laughs> this is what it is. Okay. I really like that. Ooh, that's really exciting because last time when we got something like this, it was Moldavite and I was like so excited to get it because apparently it was like so rare. So, or like not, maybe not rare, but well, like I guess so, like kind of on the more expensive side. I'm gonna take some of these little squigglies out and put them over here so we can get to what's inside of here. All right, so let's go to this one. Ooh, handcrafted spell candle drawing down the moon. Ooh, this is interesting because it, so let me show you <laughs> before I start opening things. Beautiful. And it comes in a little like metal jar. So I'm pretty sure any other time that we've gotten a candle from Sacred Space Crate, it was like a hand rolled beeswax candle and it didn't come in a jar. I actually like, I'm, I've been loving like spell candles that come in jars lately. I don't, I guess because you can like, so you can like, for me, some people use candles until they burn all the way down. I've gone over this in, in past videos. For me, I do a little bit of both, but sometimes like if I'm doing like a, like a prosperity spell and I want to kind of like light the candle for a certain amount of days every day to just ensure that the spell continues to work and it's not just in that, that moment of when you cast the spell. Um, I like to have them in a, in a jar like this because it's easy, number one, it's easy to snuff out. You just kind of put the lid on and it snuffs it out. And number two, you can use it over and over again. I mean, you can use the other ones over and over again, but I don't know, I feel like they're a little bit more messy. So I like the cleanup of this. It's also easier to sprinkle like the appropriate herbs for whatever your spell are in this. I know you can unroll the hand rolled candles, but I feel like that's a lot of extra work and I tend to be a procrastinator and I'm pretty lazy. <laughs> so I like these just because it's more convenient. So let's look at it and see. Oh, this is beautiful. So I think I see some rose and some jasmine. I think that's jasmine. Oh, and then there's some stones in there as well. I don't know what stones they are though, but look at that. It's so beautiful. Ooh. Oh, it smells so good. So good. Very floral. Definitely very floral. Smells like rose and jasmine is what it smells like. Oh, so that's really exciting. I love it. I love it. Ah! All right, so let's go with this guy. Little box with a sticker on it. Little, this little sticker says as above, so below on it. I love it. <gasps> Ooh, oh God, I love this. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna pull it out because there's like, there's like green moss in here that's like getting everywhere. Wow, this is so pretty. So it's it's a piece of jewelry. Let me just show it to you. Let shut up, Shannon. Show us. Oh, this is really beautiful. So necklace. Can you see that? She's so pretty. So pretty. And it's like a 3D little guy there. I don't know what that's called. Is that resin? It looks like a, like a resin cast. And then on the back, there's a cute little design. Nothing super fancy. It's just like, looks like a simple starburst, but that the image on that is so beautiful. I've never been disappointed by a piece of jewelry from Sacred Space Crate. I'm obsessed with jewelry lately. 
This is so flippin' pretty. <laughs> so pretty. I always get super excited over pieces of jewelry that I can add to my my little collection that I have going on. Ooh, I love that. So exciting. All right, let's go to, oh my gosh, there's so much to choose from. I don't even know what to do with myself right now. Let's go with this one. So these look like little incense cones, which is out of the norm. Uh, we've never gotten incense cones before. We've always ever, we've gotten like stick, stick uh, incense. So I'm just, I'm not gonna pull them all out, but. Mm. Smells really good. They look, they look a little blue, but it could be the, the lighting. Okay, so you can see that. It's just your standard incense cone there. And there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven incense cones in here, just like there's usually seven to eight incense sticks. So it's just another form of incense, really. So that's, I'm not complaining, and it smells delicious. It has a little bit of like a, like a fresh bathroom scent, which usually when I smell that, there's usually myrrh in it. Myrrh usually gives me that bathroom, <laughs> that bathroom floral smell, so. But we'll see when we look at the paper. All right, so next one, got another little baggie here. Ooh, is this a bracelet? I think it's a bracelet. So this is our little baggie. Beautiful blue colors, I love this. <gasps> wow, I don't know what stone this is, you guys, but it's flipping beautiful. And I'm pretty sure this is the same stone that was in the candle, because they look identical. In per so the lighting is kind of like washing it out a little bit, but in person it's like a, a cloudy stone and there's like it, there's like a hint of yellow in it. Some of them are clearer than others, but some of them have like a yellow hint, hint to it. And then the cloudiness is almost like a bluish purplish color. It's like, I don't know, I don't know what it is. I'm not super familiar with these stones, but it's beautiful. And it's on like a, like a rubber band type deal. So very cute. I love that. I can't wait to figure out what stone that is. All right, so let's, let's move on. This is such an exciting box. <laughs> I'm in a little bit of a goofball kind of mood, so. Ooh, I think this is, oh God, if I, if I have, I have this, I have, um, so Sacred Space Crate did, the first box I ever got from them was their, I think it was November box and I think it was the Book of Shadows box and on the actual Book of Shadows that they give you in that box I think it was a piece of I think it was Labradorite I think but that's what this looks like I mean the one on the oh it's so pretty so the one on the book obviously was polished but this is this is so look at the graining on that oh it's beautiful, so beautiful. I love raw stones and that, this is a, this is a big size right here. Oh, I love it. Ooh, high, high frequency energy, high frequency energy. Oh, I love it. Yes, oh, that's beautiful. I love it so much. I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm, I'm no expert when it comes to stones. I'm no expert when it comes to any of this stuff. Um, I have no idea what this is used for, but I can feel a very high frequency like vibration from it. So very cool, very exciting. Yay. All right, so next. Oop. Also, we have our little incense full moon offering blend. This is interesting because this isn't, Usually they give us like full jar, is that focusing? You see that? Yeah, there we go. Usually they give us full jars of like one particular herb. This is a mix. So this has, again, I'm pretty sure I am seeing rose and jasmine in here. There's definitely, there's lavender in here as well. 
Oh, I can smell the lavender really, really well in here. Actual lavender, like not the fake scent of lavender, smells so good to me. And like I said, like I always say, they, they always fill these things like right up to the top. Like they don't chintz out at all on these little jars. So very nice, full moon offering. So that's good, I'll have to use that for the next full moon. All right. So let's see, we have we got this little guy in bubble wrap here. <gasps> this is exciting! If this is what I think it is, it's very exciting. <sighs> Alright, so this is actually really super exciting because if you don't know, I am a massage therapist and an esthetician, which is somebody, both licensed by the way, but an esthetician is somebody who does skincare and facials. So this is super exciting because we have an anti-aging hyaluronic acid facial serum applied to damp, clean face before moisturizing. Ooh, love it. Check this out. There was a plastic wrapper that you had to kind of like peel off before you open it, but ah, I love it. So, so satisfying. Very thick, very, very thick compared to most hyaluronic acids that you see. Most of them are like water. So I'm really excited about this. Really, really excited to try this. You know what? Matter of fact, let's do, I know it said apply to damp skin, but we're just going to try it, see if there's like any, ooh, this is, I think I took a little too much. <laughs> ooh, this is really good because I suffer from like really dry skin. Now, skincare lesson, hyaluronic acid actually is used it's not like to burn your skin off i will tell you that it's actually used to attract moisture into your or water-based moisture into your skin so it's a very like natural like we produce hyaluronic acid in our bodies it's very natural and and everything like that so it's just a great way oh it sinks so beautifully into the skin it feels so good there's no stickiness or tackiness or anything like that i love it and it's, it's gone, it's in there, it's gone. When I have, so I get real dry on my chin area and when I when I get dry, it, you can feel like a, like bumps almost, like it's like a texture. It almost feels like a rash, but it's not. It's just texture from my dry skin. And that texture is, it's gone. It's like, oh, it feels so good. Ooh, I love it. And my it just feels so silky. I don't really smell much of anything. Doesn't really have like a, I'm like trying to get it in every crack and crevice here. Doesn't have like a smell or anything like that. So that's super exciting. That'll be in my skincare routine from now on. All right, so let's move on. It looks like we have only a few items left. So we'll go, we'll do the other beauty product. This one here is Handmade Organic Salve. Cayenne, cayenne pepper, carrier oil, which is either, or uh, it looks like it's sunflower, avocado, and olive oil, beeswax, and vitamin E. So let me show you this there. Beautiful. If you hear any noise in the background, it's my puppies. They're eating, they're drinking, they're snooping in the trash. Chloe, Chloe, no. All right, and this is what the inside looks like. Ooh, I am not sure what this is for, so we're going to put this aside um, until I can read like what it's about or what, it, what it's used for. Let me see. Very creamy, oily texture. Once you manipulate the product, first of all, look at my finger, very orange. <laughs> you can smell the cayenne in it, so... I'm not sure what that's for, but I'm gonna assume like any type of like pepper type deals usually for like muscle soreness, but I don't know. So 
Uh, don't hold me to that. We'll find out when we read the paper before, but it's, it's in there. Again, not very greasy at all. So, and it didn't like stain my finger or anything like that. It's not still orange. So that's exciting. I can't wait to find what that is, find out what that is or what it's used for. Now we have two products left. This is four, two products left. So we have this guy here, some bubble wrap. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, this is pretty. It's like a ceramic stand of some sort. Looks like leaves, like leaves that are wrapping around. Is it for a candle? Like a tea, like a tea light? It's very pretty. The, so there is like gold in here and silver and it's almost like, it's like a green gold and the base of it's like a brown. This is like really pretty. It looks handmade. Yeah, because even when you flip it over on the bottom, there's a little hole and you can kind of actually see the where it's white and then where it goes brown again. It's interesting. So that's exciting. I'm curious as to what that's for. There, there hasn't been anything in here so far that would would stand in there, but I, I wonder if it's like a, like a tea light holder or something. All right, so let's just double check, make sure, I think we're good. Yeah, so this is the last item. Comes in a little box like this, so we're gonna push this guy out. We have a little flap here. I'm so excited about this. I'm not sure, but every time something comes in a box like this, it's always super exciting. So here's what it looks like on the inside. There's like a blue satin pillow type thing in there. Little, another little stand. Cute. Okay. And then, <gasps> No. <gasps> Look at this. It's a crystal ball. <gasps> you guys, you cannot even see the beauty in this. Can you see? Oh, yes, you can. Look. Can you see the... Oh, God. Show up, please. There we go. Can you see that galaxy and the stars in there? <gasps> Shut up. It's like a... It, oh god, it's like a galaxy, but it also looks like an eye. It like swir- oh my god, and then there's like stars in it. <gasps> this is- goes on the- I, I can't even hold it up because I don't want it to fall. I'm so nervous. Goes on the stand. Oh. My. God. Are you kidding me? Th are you- is this for real? Is this for real? Am I being pranked right now? This is- Flipping beautiful. Do you, I mean, seriously, with, with, with the detail behind it. I mean, I can't even get the full beautifulness of this to show up. Oh my God. It's so pretty and it's so funny because I've been wanting a crystal ball for so, like I've been wanting it for so long, but I decided to I didn't want to actively go out and look for one because you always get disappointed when you when you don't find it. And I, I, this is beautiful. I don't know I don't know if that's glass or or what, but I can safely tell you that I am so excited to find out what this is. Uh, if it is, I don't know if it's just like a deck decor piece or if it is like a crystal, actual crystal ball, or what. I don't know but either way that is stinking beautiful and I love that it came with a little stand for it as well that is they always have like at least one if not all <laughs> all products in here that are like what are you serious did that really just come in the box that's so flipping great and, and and that is holy crap that is it that's the one that is my i will tell you right now that is my that will be my favorite product of the whole month and it's only like the second of january right now by the way happy
happy flippin' New Year to everybody. <laughs> it's 2020, let's party it up. Uh, it's gonna be, so we're actually going to be able to say that we have been a part of the Roaring Twenties, if I haven't said that already, because I know myself and I'm repetitive, so I may have said that already. But anyway, back to this beautiful box. That is it, that is the last product in the box. So I want to, I wanna see what everything is. <laughs> and I wanna read over. Um, one thing I will say is that Melissa, ever since I started reviewing the Sacred Space Crate, Melissa, anytime I have a complaint about something or a concern about something or like a question or anything, she always reaches out to me and gives me the information that I need or tells me like, thank you so much. I didn't realize that I'll put the, like, that's a, that's a good tip. Like she's always willing to take people's advice and, and, and everything like that. And it, it really, I cannot stress this enough. It really, really shows how much work and effort she puts into this box and her whole team and whoever helps her. I don't know if she does it by herself, or actually I do know, I, I'm pretty sure her family helps her out a little bit, but regardless, they do a wonderful freaking job. And I think I mentioned in my last Sacred Space unboxing that with her, like all her little skincare things and stuff like that, I was like, she needs to open up a shop so that we can rebuy them and stuff like that. And she did actually tell me she's working on it. <laughs> So it is coming, We and I believe she said in the new year. So hopefully it comes soon. Don't hold me to any of that information, but I can, I, I can say that she did say she was going to do that. So that, I mean, that's, that is very, very exciting because then that means if this, if this serum, this hyaluronic acid serum becomes one of my, one of my favorite products to use, I can go buy it. So very, very exciting. This box was very exciting. So let's look at this paperwork and see what it has to say. Hi, okay, welcome back. <laughs> I spent the time to read over the paper and I have got to tell you. Wow. <laughs> so there is so much information in here and there are a couple of things that I actually wanna take the time out to point out because it is, I feel like it's something that maybe we haven't seen before. I'm second guessing myself though, because I, I'm, I feel like I've, I've talked about how this box has had it before, but I, I'm, I'm second guessing myself. Anyway, <laughs> let's chat. All right, so I had to bring you in a little bit closer because trying to create an illusion here. I don't need you to see any uh, wall space from, from my background, my new fancy background. I'll have to show you a full shot of this entire background because what you're getting up here is like, it's only like this much of it. The rest of it is like so beautiful. But anyway, I'm having a hard time concentrating on one thing at the moment so before I lose my brain let's talk about this paperwork first item is the universe etched crystal ball with Stan now it is being called a crystal ball but all it says is that it is a beautiful clear crystal ball that was custom made with the universe etched into it so that when you're using it, you are connecting mentally with the messages from the universe. It doesn't say whether it is glass or clear quartz or anything like that. It just says it's a crystal ball. Personally, I don't really care if it's clear quartz or or what I am just happy to have such a beautiful crystal ball in my possession if it's glass who cares if it's clear quartz great but from what I understand crystal balls are better to work with if they're actually like clear quartz crystal versus glass but 
I wouldn't know because I've never used one before. So I don't really know what the difference is, nor do I care. It's beautiful. <laughs> I am not complaining at all. You can't, there's no possible way to be disappointed in this crystal ball. The only thing is, is that it doesn't tell me what it is. I don't care what it is, but some of you out there might. So I'm not, I don't know. Do with that information you, you will. Personally, it doesn't affect me. I'm absolutely in love with it. I cannot wait to put this on display. You have no idea how excited I am to put this out there and put it on my altar and I can't wait. Second of all, with this crystal ball, I'm trying to do this quickly because I feel like I drag this out so much. But with this crystal ball, she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven-ish, eight paragraphs on this crystal ball that is amazing in itself it gives you it gives you so she starts with giving you detailed information about this crystal ball and why she chose it for this box then it goes into basically your the like your ritual and how you would use it i'm not going to dive into the whole the whole thing because you'll be able to read it when i go over the pages later in the video she basically gives you a play-by-play -play on how to use this. Whether you're experienced or you're not experienced, that is super helpful information. She states that for a lot of people, sometimes it's a little bit of a, uh, it, it takes practice basically. So again, thank you for putting that in there because I would have felt like crap if it wasn't. <laughs> and I went to go try and use this crystal ball and was like, crap, I can't do it. <laughs> so it's nice to know, like it's nice to be like, don't give up. The encouragement's there and I love it. Basically it's like riding a bike. Once you have it, that's it, you're good to go. So I really, really love that and I love that she took the time out to put so much effort into giving detail about this crystal ball. The only thing that's lacking is what is it made of? Is it glass? Is it clear quartz? Is it something else? I don't know. Is that important information? I don't really know that either, to be honest with you. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. So uh, one way or another, I'm happy. <laughs> I don't care. But like I mentioned earlier, M Melissa is extremely helpful. So I would, I, I have no problems uh, contacting her and asking her that. Chances are Melissa will probably watch this and let us know in the comments below because she tends to do that and I love it so much. So uh, thanks ahead of time, Melissa. <laughs> also, let's see, the next item is the meteorite and floating frame. So that's that little stone in the small glass, or not glass, the this one. Doop, this guy right here very dark I want to take it out just to show you because I didn't do that earlier whoops so he's like he's it I think it's a he this time very intriguing little piece it's definitely like a silvery black piece so that is that guy but it's weird because there's almost like a I don't know if you can see that can you see the the little mark on there and then look when you rub it it like almost goes away like it smears it's almost like there's like an oil on it so I'm wondering if she it almost looks like a little arrowhead in a way like it almost looks like an arrowhead interesting very cool so I don't know if she like anything with it or if that's just like a natural thing that happens to it but it did have like a little bit of a oil on it or something like that. So just throwing that out there. So it's a meteorite crystal. It originates from outer space, hence it being a meteorite. I mean, there's a crap ton of information on that. They, it, it tells you that obviously there's a certificate of authenticity, tells you where it comes from. Uh, what it's for and let me tell you that this crystal is used for a lot <laughs> so it helps with stress it helps with relieving your mind of any mental burdens to lessen chaos um, it can help uh, increase the speedy recovery of physical injuries you can also become more courageous and bolder 
It's, it's, there's plenty of information on it. It, it fell 4,000 to 6,000 years ago or something like that, I think is what it said. So it's, I mean, it, it's crystal. There's enough information in it. Now I know what it's used for and I can, it, 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 this, I was meant to have this crystal, let me tell you. Um, so very, very, very cool. I am so excited about that. The candle, the drawing down the candle, listen, it actually has, and this is what I was talking about earlier where I was like, I don't know if this has ever happened before. I feel like I don't, like, I feel like it has, but not quite, it wasn't quite presented in this way. There is a full on ritual to do with this candle and the the incense actually as well. So the in, there so the candle, the incense and the full moon offering blend or the herb blend is all included in this little ritual. I'm just going to show it to you. So it's like a step by step play. So there are other boxes out there that will give you like its own designated sheet to that, the, that particular ritual for that month. I feel like we haven't gotten something like that from Sacred Space Crate. I get so many of these boxes that I can't, I can't remember if she's done that before in the past. I don't think so. But what I do know is like, so for, for December, it was the Yule Log. So in the description on this paper, she wrote step by step on how to do the whole process of the Yule Log. So I feel like that's your ritual. Like she includes the ritual in this. So... I'm very, very, very grateful that she that she does that because it's a world of information and it's so helpful and everything like that. Um, I don't expect Sacred Space Crate to become like every other box, but I will tell you, and this is just personal preference, I like having those little Book of Shadows pages because if I like a ritual, I can put it into my book of shadows. Now, with that being said, this candle ritual, if she does open up her, her own store, I would hope that she would put like these type of candle, like the spell candles in there too, because that would be great. So that we could, we could do it again. We could use the candle again. So if we did want to do that, it'd be nice to have like the, like a spell to put in our book of shadows so that we could keep using it. I do hold on to these pages regardless because they're they're just there's so much information on them. I usually find myself taking like the the spells or the rituals from Sacred Space Crate and I like hand write them. It'd be like I mentioned earlier, I'm lazy. So it'd be cool if she had it on a separate page, but it's not a deal breaker by any means because it's not like it's not included. It's it's right here in front of your face. I, I'm just being nitpicky and like a spoiled brat <laughs> at this point. So I'm, I'm always constantly trying to, these boxes are all amazing. This specific box is, it's my favorite. <laughs> it is, it's my favorite box. So there's literally nothing wrong with this box. It's absolutely perfect. I just always like to try and give like little feedbacks. Maybe people disagree with me on it needing its own, like the, I just feel like they need their own moment. You know what I mean? I feel like maybe they get lost in these papers. I don't know if everybody keeps these papers or takes the time out to write them all down or whatever. Maybe they do and I'm just wasting my breath right now. But just in case, how cool would it be if we had it on like its own little Book of Shadows pages? Now, I do know that when she did her Book of Shadows box, it came with a bunch of Book of Shadows pages and I don't remember December coming with them. So I don't know if maybe she does typically do Book of Shadows pages and then just kind of didn't do it for the, the last two boxes or what, but I, I don't know. Either way, I mean, I really I really did like those Book of Shadows pages, I'm not gonna lie. So it was, it was definitely nice to get that, but I mean, to each their own, she's not every other box, and thank God for that because 
this box is amazing. So again, I'm just nitpicking, coming up with things, you know, just spitting stuff out. So whatever, it's, it's really, it's not a deal breaker. It's not that big of a deal. Um, just some food for thought. So next is, um, and I'm not going to read the whole ritual to you. There's enough information. It's a candle. It, oh, oh, oh. And, um, the stone on top of the candle is moonstone. Ah, moonstone. Hello. <laughs> Should have been self-explanatory. <laughs> Um, everything in here is about the moon, so it makes sense. Full moon offering blend. It tells you that there's jasmine flowers, rosebuds, and lavender in it, so I was correct about that. And then it just tells you to see the above uh, ritual for um, for how to use the 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 blend, <laughs> basically. So I like with with this offering blend. I was kind of like, ooh, it's a blend. It's not like an actual like one herb so I like that she tells you exactly what's in it so that you can make the blend again and I love that that is really that's important to me because a lot of times people will give you these fancy blends because they want you to use it with the ritual to do this but then you have no idea how to recreate it so then you get one use out of it or like maybe a couple uses and then you can't duplicate it and and so if it winds up being like a like a like a, a spell you really like or a ritual you really like and then they don't tell you what's in it well I guess I can't use that again <laughs> the full moon cone incense again she says that it's it's a full moon blend of of resin and herbs I'm gonna assume I don't I don't know, like I said, it smells like a bathroom. Every time it smells like a bathroom, it reminds me of like frankincense and myrrh, so I don't know. The cool thing is, you guys know I always count the incense when I get these boxes. So I love that in that section it says, note, I always include seven incense cones or sticks in the monthly boxes since seven is a number of luck and prosperity yes I love that so I love that she put that little detail in there like ooh, okay I, lets us know that she will always have seven in there and the reason for it is because it is a number for luck and prosperity so I love that the feather cone incense burner slash candle holder so I was right the the little the little here let me just show you real quick I have the box set up to take the photos but this guy here I was right, it's for tea lights or something, like a candle holder or something, but you can also use it for the incense burner as well. So that's very cool. I love it, love it so much. So yeah, I mean, basically it's self-explanatory. It is, like I said, covered in feathers. So in native cultures, birds are highly revered because of their closeness to the grandfather creator in the heavens. So I like that she gives a little information on why it's feathers oriented with feathers or it has feathers all over it the bracelet was also moonstone which is beautiful i feel like i feel like i haven't seen moonstone enough to like know what it looks like so i guess i guess that's why but again should have known the whole box is about the full moon and connecting with the moon and all that stuff so it's only natural to have moonstone in it um, again, it has a lot of information on the actual stone. I'm not going to go over everything because that would make this video foreverly long. <laughs> but it is a very beautiful bracelet and I love it and it's got plenty of information in it and I have no critique whatsoever. The sun and moon talisman pendant necklace. Again, it has so much information in it about the sun and the moon being polar opposites. One's masculine, one's feminine, um, one's hot, one's cold, cause it gets colder at night and all that good stuff. So I just love, I love the imagery behind it. So very, very nice. And I was wrong about the crystal. It's not Lapita Light. I should just stop trying to guess what these are cause I have no freaking clue. It is Soda Light. So it's in the light family. <laughs> Again, this stone sounds like everything, everything I love. <laughs> so it's, it can be used to draw down the moon for in meditation. 
excellent for psychic development and meditation. It brings emotional balance and calms panic attacks. If anybody suffers from, from that, that's very good. Enhances self-esteem, self-acceptance, and self-trust. Yes, yes, yes. I feel like everybody needs this stone in their life. Everybody. The cayenne salve. This sounds awesome. Wish I would have known this sooner. Basically, she says, if you master only one herb in your life, master cayenne pepper. It's more powerful than anything else. And that is a quote by Dr. Richard Schulz, S-H-U-L-Z-E. Basically, <laughs> it's, it heals everything is, is basically what it says. It, I just think that's really, really cool. And I love it. I love it. I, I'm so excited to use that. I'm going to put it all over my body. <laughs> uh, Anti-aging hyaluronic acid serum, facial serum. Uh, like I, like I had mentioned earlier, I just happened to know what this is used for. She does state everything that I said. Then we have our moon in the zodiac calendar. I love that she wrote this little note and I feel like I don't think this note has been in the in the calendar section before. She says, I have purposefully kept the same wording to describe the energies of the moon in the zodiacs so that you can eventually memorize and remember them easier. Eventually you will you will not have to flip over the calendar to know how the energies are affecting you and everyone around you. So the reason why every time she issues one of these calendars all of this is exactly the same is because she wants you to memorize it. That's, I mean, that's kind of like what you're supposed to do with, with I feel like anything. Well, I don't know, study it. You're supposed to study your craft. So that way you can look at the calendar, calendar and be like, oh, okay, it's January 2nd, first quarter moon, 10.45 p.m. Um, all times on these calendars are always central standard time, by the way, so you have to do some adjustments if you live um, on the east or west coast so just so you know you're gonna you're gonna look at the calendar and you're gonna go oh okay the moon is void of course and it begins at 718 okay so let's look over and see what void of course means the moon is void of course when it is traveling between moon signs and yada 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 eventually you're gonna be able to look at the calendar and go oh the moon's void of course i know what that means cool and then you don't have to read the back so I mean, I, I kind of agree with her. You, sh you eventually you're gonna memorize it. You know, it's it's a lot of information to take in all at once. So, I mean, memorization is it's gonna be key. I don't know. So I like that she put that little note in there, like, hey, just just so you guys know, like, I do that on purpose. <laughs> And then she signs off by saying, I hope everyone had a blessed and joyful holiday season. Let's welcome 2020 with hope and new aspirations. I hope you enjoy your as above, so below box. If you have any questions, comments, questions or comments, please feel free to email me anytime. She will respond back. She's very good with it. She wants to make sure that we all enjoy our boxes and she is extremely customer friendly. So please do not hesitate to contact her with any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that. And then it says February box theme is Aphrodite. Ooh, or Aphrodite. I don't know. I, I, I never know pronunciations. Um, but Aphrodite, Aphrodite, whatever. And then many blessings to you, Melissa of Sacred Space. Great. So, again, you guys, this was, this was a fantastic box. I really, I have, I promise you, I have never been disappointed with this box, ever. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the video, you guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you haven't already, like I said, I know there's some lurkers out there, so please come and join the Karma Fam. And uh, we can hang out together in this witchy little world that we live in. And comment down below with any comments and positive reinforcements and, and things like that. And 
just makes it really fun to be able to connect with everyone. So I really appreciate it. And I love you guys for being here. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. I will leave the links to my social media down below. Make sure you are following me on at least one of the platforms, just because I tend to put like video announcements out there. I'll ask you guys questions on what I should film next and uh, what you wanna see and things like that. And if I don't get any feedback, then I just do things on my own. And if you don't like it, it's like, well, nobody answered me, so it's your fault. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, so if you go on there, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Facebook is facebook.com slash karma's a witch official. Twitter is at karma's underscore a underscore witch. And Instagram is at karma's dot a dot witch. In the description box below, I try to put the links in there so that you can just boop, click on it and it's that much easier. I will also leave the information for this box on or in the description box below if you are not subscribed to this box i highly highly suggest it i believe it's 54 dollars a month as you can see it's totally worth it <laughs> all right you guys so i don't think i have anything left to say except you'll probably see me again in same hair same outfit same luxurious little background in a few because I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to post two videos so I'm gonna try to post the I'm gonna try to post my December battle of the boxes before I post this one but if I haven't done that yet it will come out after this one or if it did come out I will link it to um, I'll probably put it up here or up here, one of these sides. I'll link it, that way you can click on that to watch that next. I highly suggest watching it because there are a lot of subscription boxes out there pertaining to witchcraft and I compare them all. At least the ones that I get right now, I can't get all of them at the same time, but I do tend to get a lot of the main ones and it helps to break down and give you an idea of which box to start with first. Or boxes if you're like me and can't just settle on one. Thank you all for being here. I've said my outro like three times already. Um, so let's just end it. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye.